Here I am landing my totally normal rocket. What? Why is that rocket so big? What the hell is going on in here? Today I'm building the biggest rocket, the smallest rocket, a meteor rocket and more, so keep watching. This is a small rocket. This is a bigger rocket. This is an even bigger rocket. If I keep adding fuel tanks, I will get the biggest rocket ever, right? More fuel tanks, more, bigger, higher, more. That's enough. And... It doesn't launch because it's too heavy. How big can I make this and still launch it? 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. The maximum is 22 fuel tanks, which is 27 meters high. So is this the biggest rocket we can make? No. If you go to the engines, you can get what's called the Titan engine, which is over three times more powerful. Using this, we can get one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to take a long time. Seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy-six fuel tanks, which is 82 meters tall. It should launch. Yes, it did. But look at how slowly this thing is going. So is this the biggest rocket? No. We can add more engines, six to be precise. And by doing this, the rocket can become 311 meters tall. It's actually launching. No, it's crashing. Well, at least most of it survived. Crashed into another rocket, but it was the only rocket. So 311 meters seems to be the limit for rockets, right? Not really. Introducing... BP or blueprint editing is when you go into the game files to change rockets. This can apparently get you insane rockets, but there's one problem. I have absolutely no clue how to do it. So I contacted a mysterious figure called the SFS hacker who claimed to be able to help me. So while we're waiting for him to respond, let's look at something else. Meteors, the things that killed the dinosaurs, they go through the air and then they go bam into the ground and destroy everything in real life. In space flight simulator, they're uh, a bit less epic. Oh no, a giant asteroid is nearing the planet. It's entering the atmosphere. It's coming towards us. It's burning. It's a ball of fire. Oh, the fire is gone actually. But it's going to hit the planet. It's going to kill us all. We're all going to die. It's coming. It's... Wait, we're still alive? The world hasn't ended yet? But the debris is flying through the air and hundreds of pieces of rock are crashing into the earth. It's going to destroy civilization as we know. Okay, well, uh, that didn't really happen. There was no mass extinction or anything. So I was thinking, why not turn my rockets into meteors? That way I no longer have to worry about parachutes or landing legs. I can just crash into the earth. It's that easy. So I put the capsule inside a meteor, which means I can just fly into space, disconnect and wait for it to crash. If you really want to prevent burning, also rotate your meteor so all the sides get equally hot. Now the game doesn't know what to do anymore. The temperature is rising so slowly. Of course, these are all small crashes from low height. What if you crashed really hard? Okay, then it might not work as well. Just add more meteor. Oh, yeah, sure. Why didn't I think of that? Let's try that again. My frames per second don't like this, but I do because I'm surviving and nothing can kill me. You can also just add a bunch of heat shields to block all the heat damage. In fact, at that point, you don't even need the meteor anymore. You can just put the heat shields there and fly into the... SFS hacker has replied. I can help you. He said. But with my help comes great risk. Great risk? If your video doesn't get at least 200 likes... You die. If you haven't liked the video yet, please do so because this guy doesn't play around. I need to get those 200 likes. Do you still wish to receive my help? I was scared but I knew that if I wanted to get the biggest rocket, I had to accept his help. So I simply replied with, yes. I received a file called blueprints.zip with 5 blueprints, each bigger than the last one. The first 32 meter tall rocket simply had a 10 times bigger Hawk engine. It could launch really quickly but it ran out of fuel almost instantly. Aww. This is because as engines become bigger, they become more powerful, but they also consume more fuel. The second 52 meter tall rocket had a 50 times bigger ion engine. It could launch really quickly and it didn't run out of fuel. This is because engines that are normally small are a lot more efficient than bigger ones. The third 107 meter tall rocket had a capsule that was 50 times bigger. Surprisingly, this could fly without problems because capsules don't become heavier as they become bigger. The big capsule also acted like a parachute, slowing all falls. The fourth 158 meter tall rocket had a fuel tank that was 150 times longer. Even a two times bigger Titan engine couldn't carry it. And because of that, the fuel tank started half empty to lower the weight. And the final fifth rocket had everything combined. 
hand. Multiple huge engines, somewhat long fuel tanks but not too long and a huge capsule. It was 600 meters tall. It could fly but for some reason after a while it would just break. It was so long that the air resistance became too high for falls to hurt. Here's a rocket falling from hundreds of meters. No there is no explosion. But this barely looks like a rocket right? I asked SFS hacker to make a normal looking rocket and while he was busy doing that I tried making small rockets. I started by making a simple small rocket. An engine, a fuel tank and a probe. 5 meters. I wanted to make the smallest possible rocket that could fly. But how would I make this smaller? I needed to BP edit. But I didn't know how to. I looked at the files in which SFS hacker had made rockets bigger and I just did the opposite of that. That should work. This rocket is smaller, 2.5 meters. It looks normal, but if you place a normal probe next to it, you'll quickly see that it's not. It could still fly. I made it smaller again, 1.25 meters. This is where I encountered the first real issue. The game wouldn't let me place the smaller parts on top of each other. After editing random numbers in the blueprint for a while, I somehow managed to do it anyway. It could still fly. Even smaller, 0.5 meters, 50 centimeters, it could still fly. It was the complete opposite of the big rocket. That one could fall slowly like a feather, while this thing fell like a brick. I tried 25 centimeters too, but the engine got too weak at that point. So the limit for the smallest flying rocket is 50 centimeters. Back to SFS hacker. He said, here's the blueprint. I didn't see a blueprint anywhere, so I replied, where? I think you forgot to attach the file. I didn't forgore anything. Check your game. I opened my game and went to my blueprints. Forgore? I don't remember creating that blueprint. Somehow SFS hacker had remotely added a blueprint to my game. I opened it and it was in fact the biggest rocket that could still look normal and fly. 360 meters tall. So I launched it and um, it ran out of fuel within half a second. And upon landing the engine exploded. And the fuel tank exploded. And the capsule didn't explode actually. So yes, it can fly, but not really. So we have the smallest rocket ever and the biggest rocket ever. Now the three questions everyone has been asking. 1. Can the small rocket destroy the big rocket? Yes. 2. Can the big rocket crush the small rocket? No. And 3. Can you fly into the exhaust pipe? Well, I'm not giving you the answer. Comment whether or not you think it's possible in the comment section down below.